much at Gaming and Esports. Hot topics, hot tweets, and let's be honest, hot ladies. I do not know what she is insinuating there, but she's hot 81, and she yeah. keeps making me say I'm hot yeah, 82. Yeah, making you say it. So this is how the show is going to work. Producer Tyler's in the back room, and he's got two minutes on the board for each topic, and we will present them, and we will most likely argue. <laughs> Luckily for all of us, though, there is a mute button to be used only when one of us gets out of hand. Mm-hmm, it's usually Lisa, but shout out to chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong, and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's get to it. Let's get off our story stories with some sex. Former Call of Duty pro Censor says that he's glad that he prioritized gaming over dating and sex. While Censor did say that young men should focus on their career, he also said that even speaking to a girl would have distracted him from his goal of becoming a pro COD player. Censor's statements were sparked by a new study that claims many men under the age of 30 were focusing more on video games than sex. Uh, so Lisa, obviously we brought this up on the show before with yep. that, we had just a tweet with that Daily Mail or whatever it was, yep. just click, I felt like it was just mostly clickbait, obviously, especially 100%. with that photo. But uh, I do want to, before I pose a question to you, do want to let you know what he had tweeted. Yes. First, give us the context. Because he says, my parents were concerned because I didn't kiss a girl throughout high school. To me, it was more important to be number one in the world in COD. That opportunity wouldn't always be there. Glad I made okay. that decision. So he tweeted this. This becomes a copy pasta. Oh, a no. A full on copy pasta. Because, like, think of just, like, what he's saying. It's pretty funny. And also, Censor, he's... He's also very clickbaity. Obviously, yes. he makes his career on YouTube. Uh, he was under fire by many men in the world for breaking up with Yannette. Who... She is gorgeous. Kate, by the way, yeah. respect to her. Uh, Major Kate, respect. Uh, yeah, that but... body does not tone itself. Okay. What? You know what? Yeah, that's another thing that kind of bothers me too. Is that like people are giving him garbage and crap for breaking up with this girl. It's like you know what? You can break up with your yeah. girl if that girl isn't pleasing you, or you're not pleased with, or like she's not pleased with you. Like <laughs> things go wrong in relationships, okay? Yeah. Just because somebody has a hot body doesn't mean you should stay with them. That's messed up. Yes, yes. Yeah. But I think we're missing the point here okay, tell me. of this whole, I guess, recent like resurgence of this topic, right? Mm. So there's that new survey that says men under 30 are now focusing more on video games instead of, I guess, social interaction. Social. And so I'm trying to put it nicely here. There's kids <laughs> watching. Who knows? <laughs> but the point is, is, does that surprise you? Or is it a bad I thing? Or it doesn't surprise me at all. I feel like this is the way it should be. Listen, as I said before, children, HPV is rampant. So you best protect <laughs> oh yourself and protect yourself by just abstaining. Why not? Like, just save it for later in life. You got your whole life to have sex. Seriously. You don't have to have it so early. Why don't you focus on your career? You want to sit down in front of these games, play your heart out. Not heart out. You know what? I would, I would mute out. you, but I feel like that was still a very serious thing. You need to get yeah. that out there. It was real. Safety. Okay. Safety Moving first. on. Safety first. Play games. Move on. Play. In really weird news, I can't believe we're actually talking about this mm. one, the British royal family has opinions. <laughs> uninformed opinions, I'm sure, on Fortnite. Specifically, Prince Harry said that the game should be banned because it was created to addict. He also said that the gaming, along with social media, could be more addictive than alcohol or drugs. Ooh. So, what was your reaction to this one? Well, hmm? first, Actually, since I, I was like, like Harry. Of course. But like, Harry, uh, what are you doing <laughs> talking about Fortnite? Right, has but... he played this game? Dude, do you guys even have video game consoles? I don't know. I don't know if those are allowed. <laughs> or but, PCs, uh, maybe? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't... It's fine, but the thing is, like, he does make a point, yeah. uh, and I will agree with him that it is made to addict, but a lot of games are. Yes, Fortnite is a little bit insidious with the way, like, kids have to constantly go back for more skins. There's always updates on it. Mm -hmm. Also, there's peer pressure from friends. Like, there's there are all of these things pulling kids in to this game, which can be yeah. an issue for those that struggle with addiction. Like, listen, it, it could be a thing. But that's every product that is created yeah. in this world. It is made to be addictive. Mm -hmm. it, like, every product needs you to come back to buy it, right? That's just For the sure. point. So like, to focus on Fortnite and video gaming in general mm. seems so unfair. Like, that's oh. just the way it is. It's the nature yes. of the product. Okay, so they didn't like really expand on it. I kind of researched a little bit more. He yeah. also spoke on social media and okay. how social media is the very uh, much the same way. Oh, what? Oh, newsflash. Guess what? The royal family just opened an Instagram. Oh, did you guys know that? So what 
is this hypocrisy, Prince Harry, that is going on here? They literally just opened up an Instagram. Go check it. Yo. Okay? Drop some comments in their new recent posts because. So then they what have the experience. Hell? Then they have experience with the addiction of social media. Then I guess if they're going on Instagram, they're checking the stories. They're going to see how they like it. So, like, this is just hypocrisy on their part. And I'm yeah. not okay with that. You know? Oh. I'm just saying, you know what? You're going to say social media is bad and then open up. And you're, you're probably making tons of money off the pictures of yourself that's being Believe sold that. to social media we, for all this. We all are victim to this. That's we fine. are also addicted to our phones. We're, these are, the, they're not wrong. We are addicted. These are addicting yes, things. But use it safely. You know, we're in an age where, yes, yeah, social media, games, all of that's there. Just use it safely. You know, manage your use of it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, Just yeah. Be, be smart. Yeah, Just be and smart about like, it. you know, wrap it. Oh Earlier my. this week, former League of Legends pro Forgiven announced that he has mandatory service in the Greek military was over. That's amazing. And that he's looking to return to the LEC. And that return is starting to attract a lot of attention. Misfits coach, what, who is that? Coach? Jezus. Jezus. There you go. Said that he returned to pro play if he could play with the Greek ADC. It should also be noted that as coach, Jezus, I don't like that name, was demoted due to the team's continued struggle. So Lisa. Jesus. Mm. Just call him Jesus. Je I love that. Jezus? Like Jezus. that's a, I don't know. Okay, what's with you with names, okay? It's not what? their fault, it's their name. Leave them alone. Oh my god, alone. I know Fissure. Oh, I can't even. Do you guys What's wrong with Fissure? That's a real word. Yeah, it is a real word. What's it wrong also with real so like, attach it. No, attach it to it. You know what? Move we on. Won't. We need to talk about the story because it's actually very interesting. Okay, tell me. So context, like Forgiven is one of the biggest personalities to come out of League of Legends in Europe. Like he was one of the top tier AD care. He's played for big game, uh, big teams like SK Gaming, Copenhagen. Who else? Origin. I'm trying to name them off the top of my head, and this is really hard. Oh, I you can rap. Mm. A little bit more on that later. But <laughs> the point is, like, then he had to leave, unfortunately, for military service, yeah. but now he's coming back. Mm -hmm. And this is now, we're all wondering, like, is he gonna be as good as he was before? Is he gonna bring back an era of 80 carries to Europe? You know, yeah. we've kind of like, Reckless is the only 80 carry everyone talks about mm -hmm. in Europe, mm -hmm. but now that Forgiven might be coming back, that's really exciting. But I think everyone wants to, like, know, is he gonna be washed up, you know? Mm -hmm. But okay, so it's hold hard on one sec. to tell. A little insider info Lisa's obsessed with Reckless. Oh my god, no! Straight up. Obsessed with him. So, what does this mean now for you, Lisa? Like, are you gonna be obsessed with Forgiven? Excuse me, you think I just hop from one eighty carry to another? That's not how I work. I'm loyal. Okay, I'm loyal. Okay, that's hey, not reckless. What's up? Long time no talking. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> that's not the point. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> Let's bring it back to the actual topic here. So, Forgiven, I honestly think we give him a chance because he's twenty six years old. He's twenty six years old, which is kind of old an average like age for players yeah. but i think with 80 carry as long as it's just like doing reps you know like mm -hmm. once you're kind of riding a bike you get back on it yeah. you practice farming you practice all that all the other stuff that has changed so far like meta yeah. and strategy that's what the team is for that's what the coach is for so i really think jesus. he can bring it Je Je jesus that's what jesus, jesus will for. save you <laughs> i mean yeah hopefully listen i'm all for it jesus or jesus I uh, know, not I'm not for that name <laughs> at all. But I'm all for forgiving, coming back, and being forgiven for leaving. All right. Oh, that was cute. All right. Lastly, none other than the New York Excelsior has been nominated for a Webby Award Ooh. in the athletes and sports team social category. The Webby's award excellence on the internet, and the Excelsior was nominated because of its video content on mm. social media and YouTube. They're up against the likes of the Philadelphia Eagles and mm -hmm. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, mm -hmm. and winners will be announced on April 27th. Mm. Oh, hmm. that's cool. Yeah. yeah that's cool. So uh, do you follow any of their stuff? I do. do. I follow a lot of the Overwatch League's um, socials, yeah. but I wouldn't say that Excelsior is number one. Who's like, number that's one? The, well, there's, there have been a few that have kind of like, they, they're kind of always one-upping each other, yeah. which is really cool. I love that. We need to see more of that, of course, because it's all about competition and competition in your socials as well. Like, even we, we're going to be talking to Burns later, who is the United manager, general mm -hmm. manager, they have incredible social as well. So if you're looking at the sure. Call of Duty scene, so it's kind of hard to say. I also feel like a lot of these awards, I don't really care for only because it really is all about who you know, especially in awards as well. Really, honestly, You're it calling is. calling them out. I, I, I have to, like even with some of the, like some of these awards too, or like voting that happens online, it's all about like who you know and like I, like some bribery that goes around too. Like you never know whose pockets are being lined. Like I don't want to say Camille it. If only Camille could have bribed the votes for her Schweppes versus Ginger Ale If hole. only that, that was the case. She doesn't know the right people. Listen, let me tell you about this girl Camille. <laughs> <laughs> She's that lovely lady. She just has interesting hot Taste. takes. Yo, that should be that should be some kind of category. Mm -hmm. Interesting hot takes, not good ones. Not good ones. Just interesting. We'll Camille, let her handle that whole win. segment for the whole squad, fam. You win. 
<laughs> but bringing it back first of all to OWL, I think oh. the best social media account. Yeah. Is it uh, the, Spark? Yeah, the Spark? The Spark, Spark is very has good. been killing it. They are like creating original cartoons for yeah. every of their like every post of theirs, yeah. which is amazing. Major respect to that. That's time, dedication, and bringing it back to the community because they're hiring like community artists, yeah. right, to help them with that. No, for sure. Like so. even even LA obviously is also doing a very good job as well. They have like they just have like a little moment where like you sit down with somebody and he sits and he tells you what happened in the league this week and with their team and what's going on behind the scenes and they had a little cat that comes in and you do like see what the cat's up to and just like <laughs> quick shot of the cat just laying there doing nothing i love that stuff like anything that involves content with a team to bring fans in yes. and just keep them constantly entertained so they don't leave and start jumping on the bandwagon of another team that's smart marketing friends all right so we're gonna post more cat videos and pictures that's Definitely. what i learned from that all right now it's time to see what streamers have been up to in clip it our first clip comes from boogie mm. who probably shared too much information about how he handles his finances oh god Eventually, if I sell those cards, I have to pay income on the cards I sell if there's a paper trail. If I sell them to a friend for 20 bucks, none's the wiser. So $500 tax write-off, and I get six, seven, eight hundred dollars worth of singles. Oh, there we go. You see? You see, it's a smart, it's a smart decision. Boogie. I don't know if it's a smart decision talking about that publicly. No, that was a bad decision. Like, I applaud, you know, your savvy businessman <laughs> endeavors. But uh, I don't know if, I don't know, because, like, who's going to share? What if somebody watches that, like, works for, uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't know what it's called. IRS. In the the IRS yeah. in the States, yeah. Um, yeah, what if somebody... Someone doesn't pay your taxes. No, no. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Calm Whatever, down. don't leave that. I'm like, yeah. you're behind. Don't start with me right you now. It's giving me anxiety. So am I. No. Wait, it's tax season. It's actually it's freaking me out recently. I know. It's giving us a lot of stress and anxiety. On social media, you see all the pros right now being like, God, I just did my taxes. Oh, what a tough job. And I'm like, I know. I haven't even done mine yet. Tell me about it. And like people that work freelance because we always end up yeah. having to owe the government rent money, right? So it's just like, wait, wait, it's just like piles up and then you get that bill at the end of the year. You're like, what? Why was I honest? Anybody got any accountants in our chat? Because, uh, <laughs> message us. I, know. I need help. We need help and maybe Boogie might later as well as in our next clip comes from Temple Axe, who played around with a glitch. Mm. And then you up throw Nana. And you super jump. <laughs> Look, Look at this. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? A lot of people don't know about this one, but this is one of the coolest glitches I, I know about, and I, I like it a lot. It's just a lot of fun. Look how high I go. I go ridiculously high. I'm still falling after all this time. Like, he goes insanely high. There he is. Aww. They say Ben wobbling. <laughs> ben that stuff. I'm just wondering if that's only on that map exclusively. Um, I wouldn't know. Yeah, no, obviously, because you and I play so a lot much. of Smash. Um, we're, we're very good at it. <laughs> yeah, so good that we can't show people. Uh, but can we spend the next like minute and a half just talking about what? how amazing Axe is? Oh my god! Right? Yes. He's so awesome. He is such a sweet man. Uh, he's also very honest on Twitter too about just things that he goes through in his life. And sometimes yeah. he has ups and sometimes he has downs, and he shares all of them. And I think it's really important for other people, especially fans, to see that too. Yeah. That life's not all sunshine and lollipops, right? Like no. we will have down days too. And honestly, having the down days make you, makes you appreciate all the good days. So um, I want to take this moment now to apologize to producer Tyler because <laughs> I was having a down day this Aww. morning and I really let him have it. Oh, no. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Oh, why would but you I, do that? Okay. Because he didn't look at the Slack. It's okay. Anyways, okay, no, don't I, get I won't into this now. now. Whatever. Really, my actual issue is the Slack. It's okay. Tyler, I still love you. Oh my okay. god. Okay, <laughs> he's like in my area now, he's like, shut up, <laughs> get to the seats. All right, bro gamers have a lot on their mind and like to take to Twitter to dump all the things as a kind of therapy no one asked for or really needs. Mm. They also like to one-up each other for our amusement, which is what FGC bro Flo decided to do with Justin Wong. Okay, Let's So he says here with all these bad Jay Wong tier lists, I felt I had to fix it last night on stream. Fight me. Them's literally fighting words, because look at this friggin' tier. Now, Obviously, you have to tell me that you disagree with this, Lisa. Taco Bell top tier? Um. Nah, nah, cannot deal with that at all. He puts Popeyes, he puts freaking Popeyes all the way down to the least, to one of the last edible tiers because the tier at the bottom is like inedible, but the next one up, he puts Popeyes. Like, have you even had their biscuits, Warm B? No, actually, the biscuits are honestly 
the best. That's what I'm saying. But I have to be, I'm a dirty Taco Bell eater. What? I love Taco Bell! Are you serious? Taco Bell, their supreme fries are Yes, yes, it makes you go to the bathroom a lot later. <laughs> and you know, you kind of regret it then. But the moment you put it in your mouth, and we're talking about Taco Bell here. What it's is it? Here's your lips. <laughs> no. You gotta have more. Uh, no, it's good. Taco Bell. Because like isn't there food, isn't there like meat something lower grade than dog food? Like, oh my I'm God, sure that's, that's, that's all fast food. Why are we gonna like target that's true? Taco Bell? What? Didn't you hear like with the McDonald's, like the chicken nuggets are literally the oh, bones yes, and everything like, grinded up? And... Yeah, that's true. But I think in Canada, we have different uh, laws on that. And I oh, think really? the chicken tenders here are actually better than the chicken oh. fingers or tenders in the States. Just letting you know, if you come to Canada, maybe you should try ours and do a little comparison. Uh, but he did a McDonald's up there. He had Starbucks up there, which I kind of agree with because like, I hit that here? all the time. Yeah, Why Starbucks there? Well, because you can't get fast food there. Like, they have food already packaged in boxes ready to go. Where, where was the Vietnamese food on that list? Oh, now she's making it about race. They serve it fast. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. So our next tweet also happens to be about food. Mm. I just ordered a chicken, bacon, and ranch from Subway. They gave me a lettuce, ranch, and cheese. I just lost effing full. So he ordered it on Uber Eats, so he didn't actually get to see it being made, and everyone's yeah. on him for that. Like, why didn't you say something when yeah, it was being made? He yeah. didn't get to see it was being made. Yeah. And obviously, he, he wished the, he didn't order them it Them be Eats. the results. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, but I guess that's the risk you take when you order Uber Eats, but see, what would no. you do though? Like, what would you do? Would Lisa actually call and complain? I feel oh, like you would. 100%. You yeah. know that the app, okay, listen, I'm a very avid user of Uber Eats, so I know what's up. So what you do, <laughs> you take a picture of it, simple, and then you actually report it. There's like a whole section to report things like that, right? So you just report it and they literally don't even argue it. They're just like, oh. it's better to just give it the money back for free. It's like, they will, so you know, even if the food is good sometimes, you can actually get some free meals out of that. Lisa! But that's not talking about hacks because I don't want to be like boogie and you know. <laughs> Oh my God. Yo, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, you try that. <laughs> but I just don't understand. Listen, I've worked in food before and I just don't understand how someone can mess up a sandwich that bad. Well, Because I've watched them make Subway sandwiches. You literally yeah. put the meat on the bread first, first to toast it. Yes, sometimes. But if you, if you didn't get it toasted, then they gotta warm the meat separately. Why Maybe they just forgot to, to take the meat out of the microwave, which is also kind of gross, and put it <laughs> in the sandwich after they already made it. That's, a, that's an honest mistake. An honest mistake that that employee Someone gets deserves to, to be fired. No. Fired. No, they're working at Subway. Give them a break. All right, our last tweet comes from Methods General Manager Dari. She quoted ABC Eyewitness News. <laughs> Janties, will you make these a part of your summer collection? And Dari channels all of us when she says, just start the rapture now, please. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, Lisa, let's be honest though. Let's be honest. Uh, you definitely wear come. these. I feel like you definitely wear these with a long jacket. Guess you don't wear your I knew it! <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I have a lot of questions about this, okay. actually. First of all, First, in the summer, um, chafing, like <laughs> the lines will just hurt. I am not okay. And I buy really cheap jeans. We've talked about this. Yes, you do. So my janties, that ain't <laughs> happening. I'm not wearing janties. Just the name itself, <laughs> janties. That's the I least know. appealing thing I they could have come up with. I love how I put this into our group chat before we <laughs> did the show and Tyler just responds, no. Just no, like all caps. I'm like, wait, does that mean I can't put it in the show? <laughs> well, too bad, I did. I uh, know. I feel like now we need to get those for him for a birthday. There's not going to be a size fitting <sighs> that booty. No, no disrespect. It's just that like he's a big booty. Okay, <laughs> he he does karate or whatever he does. So. <laughs> to mention him at all this episode <laughs> and all we do is talk about it. Okay, all right, let's move on to some crowd control. This is where we show all the goods that people on the internet have been creating or sharing. First up is a comic from Jez Maz depicting our beloved Mario in his various job positions. Oh, look at that. Mario, Mario. It's Mario, me. it's a me. Dr. Mario says, it's, it's a she. she. <laughs> Arborist Mario, it's a three. <laughs> And unemployed Mario, it's a free. <laughs> okay, other ones were barista Mario, it's a coffee. Officer then, Mario, it's, it's a robbery. Oh no. Oh my God. And then gamer Mario, it's, it's a Wii. Wii. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. So many people in chat right now are probably like not like this. Not wait, like this. We want to hear what you guys can come up with, man. You know what? I actually came up with the last three, and I'm oh, really proud of them. Wait, hold on a second. The, the you last did? three were mine. Lisa. I know. Oh my God, you're so smart and talented. She should be making comics. No, I can't draw, but. Oh, on the side, <laughs> but I mean, Lisa but Duan. I can do it. But speaking of rhyming, actually, oh. it's time to spit some bars because the LEC is bringing hot fire <gasps> in its latest promo for G2 versus Origin Yo. in the European playoffs. So let's hear some of it. Skirt, skirt. <laughs>
But hey, OG, you won the grand prize. This will be your only high to lose to G2 first so everyone can see that you're the worst. Come back in finals, we'll hit you twice. Might give you a game if we're nice. Hey, Betty, what? You really think you need help with this fool? Are you kidding me? He can't even cast the world's quarterfinal. Like, are you serious? vacation started early this year you're losing the splice <laughs> we got nothing to fear when they're solving world hunger yanko's missing his shit perk siver mid lane the boy can't even right click remember the last time we met cap solo killed no threat close it out cleanly you bet give us that zed nukes fed give us that zed you're dead i'm not even boasting caps has a champion pool but i run nuke has an ocean so get ready to drown in it we'll beat you down with it excuse me mr yanko's what's that caught in your throat Another best of five, you're choking? Your career is a joke. But at least you're better than Perk. Ran from his own lane, that's worse. Yo, that was so hype, Lee. Are you <clears throat> kidding me? Shocks? Um, Fire lit. All right, uh, let's go. What? Oh, let's go. Uh-huh. Let's go. It's time to get muted. What you're saying is stupid. Let me tell you what's good. I'll shoot it at you like Cupid. It's good that I'm here. I'm making it clear. This would be such a bore if I was Brody freaking more. Ba -ba -ba -ba! <laughs> ah <laughs> what? What just happened? <clears throat> oh my god, this is the greatest day of my life. This is amazing. <laughs> My system. That was the best thing I think I've ever seen. Camille comes out of nowhere and now she just is down here and we have to pretend <clears> that <throat> she's not there, I guess. Let's move on. Let's move on. Thank you. Wow. Okay. While we take some time <laughs> to recover from that, it's time to talk about a subject not often discussed in gaming. Unrealistic body standards for men in gaming shared by <laughs> Nio Daily on Reddit. Let's see. <laughs> Let's just casually move all right, on here. All right, all right. <laughs> the Singapore edition of Men's Health May 2018 issue, Build the Body of Famous Fantasy Heroes. God of War's Kratos shares how to build the ultimate dad bod. Oh my god. Whoever made that cover, brilliant. I mean, uh, unrealistic character design though on Kratos. I mean, okay, honestly, I feel like guys don't get enough attention for like unrealistic yeah. body standards for men in video games because most of the characters are like, Giant butt, they're yeah. tall, they're buff, they're like muscular rippers sure. everywhere. But we don't, you know, there's always a lot of tension on female bodies. Yeah. But you know, men deserve, like that's unfair a little. That That is for sure unfair, unrealistic body issues, especially like in Street Fighter as well. Yeah. Ryu, oh God, like how can, I mean, he's looking, he's looking pretty good. Yeah. But then we have things on our end, obviously yes. like the games like Dead or Alive with those <laughs> booby physics, that's not real. That's that definitely not real. real. They ain't real. So I just don't want people's expectations to no. live in that world, but I just feel like it's animated and maybe we shouldn't. Uh, we shouldn't try to be those characters in any way. Like we see cosplayers do it mm. and pull it off in some way, but that's a lot of tape, people. It's a lot of tape. Okay. All righty. It is. Oh, I believe you. All right, unfortunately, that's it for today's oh. Unmuted. Oh. I, I want to end it there. Okay. We want us to know what is your favorite part, so let us know in chat. <laughs> All right, <laughs> remember, you can always hit us up on our socials at Squad State, so we'll see you there. <laughs> Bye, guys. Come here. <laughs>